All right guys, so it is a new day. We're extremely happy. The problem that happened yesterday, the axle just came out, put it back in, it works good. We gotta take it on a test drive just to make sure it's in properly. Right now, we are installing brakes just on the front because we don't need them in the rear. We're only gonna be doing a few track sessions. I'm super excited to get this thing out on track. Easy fix. And I had to come up here and give a shout out to TH Motorsports, Will Long, and Eric Dewey DeWitt for hooking us up with these Carbotech brake pads. They hooked us up big on these, helped us get these super good brake pads so that the EG can stop properly. So please go check out TH Motorsports in the description below. Honestly, probably one of the best car part website. They have everything you could think of for your car, and the customer service is honestly probably the best. Right now, we're gonna go leave these brake, go to the event, and be able to put this thing on track. So, we made it to Mid-Ohio. We're getting tucked in. It's raining out right now. And basically, the way it's working is me and Austin are sharing a ticket, and they wanna throw me in advance. I've driven a track like two times. I've never driven this track. I've never driven this car on track. It's gonna be a little sketchy, but we're gonna send it. All right, so we are on the way home. I didn't feel much of tracking because it was kind of just a big mess. Like, it was raining. We didn't get to send the car as hard as we wanted to, but I'm still excited that we got to get it on track. Like I said, it was raining. It wasn't that exciting. Um, this video is definitely gonna be cut pretty short, so everything's been holding up good. The clutch is fine, the trans is fine, all the gears work good. We've got about five hours till we get home. Before I finish this video, I wanna say that this is very short and there wasn't a lot of action in this video. Now, that is because the whole day was kind of flustered and we were had to get it ready to get on track. We had to get teched in, so there wasn't really a lot of time to film. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys like a recap what happened this weekend, because it was kind of intense. So, we drive down there five hours all the way to Ohio. Car does fine. The car starts making a noise as soon as we get to the Airbnb. I'm not really worried about it. We get it on track. We figure we're gonna fix it later. So right outside the track, it blew up, which you guys will have will have seen in my previous video. We get it towed home by our buddy Calvin, who rented a U-Haul. Shout out to Calvin. Follow his Instagram right here. We get it home. We pull the trans. The trans is shot. Dunzo. Clutch is all good. So. We're like, all right, well, we're not gonna sit around here, mope around, and wait for something to pop up in our hands. So we go to the track, we enjoy our time, we watch some of the time attack cars go around, and then by the end of the day, we did find a trans. We ended up going all the way to Detroit to pick it up, get it back, put it back in, everything's good to go. We take it on a test drive, and right as we get to the end of the driveway, it stops moving. So we're like, all right, dude, it's already four in the morning, so we go to bed, we wake up 10 o'clock, so we've already missed like like half the day worth of tracking. Austin busts into my room, he goes, we found the problem, we found the problem, we found the problem. And literally we just didn't put the axle in all the way. So it kind of, the axle kind of just popped out, which is kind of weird, but put that back in, pop some front brake pads in so that we could actually stop, go to the track, get a few sessions in. We didn't get any dry sessions in, which kind of sucks. I definitely want to drive that track in the dry, but you know, maybe we could get that in next year. One of the things they did do on Sunday, which was the day that we got the car on track is nobody was there. So they just combined all the sessions. They combined like advanced with intermediate and advanced with time attack and just a little backstory so Austin messaged the director of grid life a while ago and told him we have two tickets but one car and we're both co-driving one car and he's like oh for next time just buy one ticket and then you get the same amount of sessions and you could just swap sessions so we're like all right we'll do that so we do that I get the first session Austin gets the second session and then I track like two sessions after that and one of the sessions they combined advanced with time attack and first of all I'm nowhere near an advanced driver, I'm barely an intermediate driver. When I heard over the announcements that Time Attack was gonna be in the same, in on, on track with me, I was like, what? But you know what, it was a full send, it was a slow day anyways because all the rain. I literally had like Time Attack Corvettes passing me Evos and it was like, it was pretty stressful but it was a full send, I was having fun out there. I'm just excited that we got to get the car on track. So as the car sits, it's sitting in the garage, everything's all good with it, just some minor things need to be fixed before the next track day. Enough of me talking, I'm gonna end this video here and then, you know, we just got regular schedules from here on out, you know, work, fixing minor things to the car, maybe, maybe we'll get it painted, who knows, maybe that'll happen. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.